Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff and Griffin from Achievement Hunter. You sound so excited. <laughs> and Griffin, this is going to be probably our last Dead Rising 2 Case Zero oh. video. Yeah, it's going to be a bigger taste. It's the uh, final like collectible esque achievement video we'll be doing. Unless somebody finds like a cool Easter egg or something. And okay. what this is, uh, I know that you're a huge Dead Rising fan. I actually really do like this game. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Well, in this game, uh, one of the functions of this uh, awesome sequel is that you can combine items. Like, for instance, I'm about to combine this propane tank with some nails, and it's going to make an IED. And uh, see, it looks <laughs> awesome, right? <laughs> it looks pretty scary. And there is an achievement uh, to combine all nine uh, combinable ones here in this uh, preview game. And so you can see so it's it on the back. So it sticks into his back. It sticks into his back, and then you shoot him like, boop! And oh, I was, yeah, that's I was cool. a little too close oh, okay. at the time. <laughs> all right, now this next win. one uh, is going to be a Maltov, and we can get both of these items, which uh, I love are your the... little workbench. It's so cute. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I made that myself. <laughs> the, uh, it requires you to combine a newspaper and a bottle of whiskey, and you can do this right behind the department store at the, uh, whatever you call it, workbench back there. And then uh, let me show you what it looks like when you use this So you one. can only combine things at the workbenches? Yeah, at okay, the workbenches. And their sense. workbenches are like scattered throughout the, the map. So they're conveniently located all around. So that was that one. Next, I'm going to combine a bucket and a uh, power drill. And you saw me pick those up. They were both in the safe room. Oh, Oops, okay. I missed. And see, that's, uh, that's a oh, wow. special way to kill a zombie there. So the, the drill was just... I see. Yeah, it was pretty gross. And then yeah. this next one, right next to where we were there at the uh, department store, is a pylon. Grab one of those for a future one we're going to do. And then right here, grab a bottle of beer. If you can't find any on the ground like that, Griffin, as you probably know, they're located in the bar. And then run all the way around that, here yeah, okay. towards the uh, like the barricades. And around the back here, kind of uh, all by its lonesome waiting for us, is a car battery. And we're going to need that one for a pretty cool uh, one. Let's pick it up. And then you're going to have to run all the way back to the save room and pick up the rake. So wait, this is just like you have it somewhere on your you like have to go invisible... Uh, yeah, it's in your inventory, as I it see. were. Okay. And then when you combine these two, you get the electric rake, which electrocutes <laughs> zombies. And it also, uh, it rakes leaves 14% uh, faster. Right. Well, you know, I think it's cool that like th th this is an option, but it also makes me wonder about the people who made the game yeah, a little no, bit. Yeah, no, a little like, weird, oh. right? I mean, I know there's zombies and we don't care, but... They're thinking about ways to kill people in <laughs> really true. gruesome ways. These guys are all potential serial killers who just got a good job. Right. Uh, <laughs> They're like one bad day away. Okay, so we got the uh, spray paint. To my knowledge, the only place to get the spray paint, Griffin, is on the roof of the safe house. Okay. And you combine that with the pylon, and it has an air horn. And let me tell you, the air horn's worthless. It basically just tells zombies where you are. Well, I would think that that's... Yeah, it doesn't kill them in any cool way like I was hoping it would. And then this one's probably <laughs> the first one you can do, combine the nails and the baseball bat. They're both in the safe room, and you get a spiked baseball bat, which is pretty cool. Okay. Now, one of the most awesome ones we're going to get is we're going to run over here, but and... The zombies don't even, like, fall... They're just like, hey, what's up? They're just well, milling it's around. it's like good zombie Saturday. Oh, like, yeah. I guess, like, when it gets darker, like, they get more motivated They do get what? more motivated at night. Oh, it's really? interesting you say that. Oh, yes. Okay. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> These, uh, they're, uh, yeah, they, you know, they're night zombies. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the, uh, what is it called, the hardware store, and there's going to be two key components in there. We're going to take that paddle, and we're going to combine it with a chainsaw that we pick up right here. So it's an actual hardware store? Yeah, no, it's actually a hardware store. So it hasn't been replaced by the Zombie Home Depot or anything like no, that? No, no, not yet. No, it's a, yeah, no, the Zombie Home Depot hasn't come in and driven all local business out of the town yet. And let's be sure to grab a pitchfork while we're at it, and then okay. get this chainsaw again. Then we're going to run over to a very close uh, workbench, which you see attached the little green box right next here. Mm -hmm. And this one is the one that people probably recognize the most because it's in a lot of the trailers and stuff. Okay. You uh, create... Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, and you can see it in action here. It's like... Zoop, zoop, zoop. That seems zombies, impossibly zombies heavy. Zombies hate to die this way. Like, do you... Is there a oh, limit this guy, of what this guy you can carry? This guy works out. Yeah, but I mean, is there like... <laughs> no, there's... No. There, well, there's a little... Yeah. There, you can carry like five items. Oh, okay. So, so it's then, items, not pounds. Yeah, items, not pounds. And uh, I think the developers probably thought that the pound thing would be a little too complicated. You like well, become yeah. encumbered. And, no, yeah. So up here on the roof to the left here is a construction hat. To my knowledge, this is the only place the construction hat is in the game. Uh, but there might be some other where. And then I'm going to run down here and drop and get the shotgun as I whiff, whiff. Oh, thank God. I almost struck out there. And that uh, was going to be like prom night. And uh, <laughs> picked up uh, the shotgun. Come in here. I'm behind the department store again. And I'm going to combine the shotgun with the rake to create. If you've already beaten the game, you've seen this because one of the bosses uses it. But check oh, it out. Okay. Yeah. And boop. So it's like a bayonet. Suddenly there's less zombie. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah and yeah, you get a lot cool. of PP for it. PP, of course, being player points, which is like your XP in the game. I'm actually surprised that that gun doesn't exist already. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe it will after this game. And that was the last one. It was to make the uh, beer hat, which also is completely worthless. I mean, it heals you, but I found out as I was drinking it, and I'm like, well, it's got to do something other than, oh, no, it gets me drunk. And if you, apparently three, dr- three beers is enough to vomit. Oh, shit. But we've gotten the achievement, so we can uh, sleep off our hangover in comfort, knowing that we've 200-pointed this game. Well, great. 